guys doing so far? There we go. There we go. I knew this, had, this room had some life to it. Well, now that I'm done interviewing, uh, I gotta tell you that there's some good musicians coming up. Kaylee Cole and Brian John Appleby are gonna play as well, so don't go anywhere. Oh no. Oh no. Battle starts when I I see the truth. Oh no, I fled from winter storms. The dark clouds fall and I fall out of tune. Brother's life was bright, now dull and gloom. Oh no, I bled. With your child, rocking so light, and I feel the fume. Oh, 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 oh no. And I'll march for you 
She she really. Uh, She's got a great voice. Yeah, she does. Do you uh, do you guys play together very often? Yeah, we played uh, in August together, oh, okay. and uh, we did like a tour up here. And then I met her like two years ago uh, on New Year's, and we were both jamming out at this like musician's house. And I'm like, oh, your songs are cool, and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, yours are too. And so we just played a couple shows together and just like supported each other that way. So, so when you're when you're sitting and, and jamming with another musician for the first time, what's yeah. the what's the first song that you usually pull out and play? Do you have like a like one that you know is gonna get them? Gonna get them? Oh, yeah, like or, you know, like you know, oh, we like try to impress them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, totally. What 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 is it? Well, at the time I hadn't written some of these songs, otherwise it would have been some of these. I had this song called uh, "Waiting." Happiness is waiting. And it's just like one of those songs where I feel like I own it, because that's the key. If you can own, if you can really feel like you own it, then you're probably gonna own it. Well, one of the so. things about um, uh, you know uh, listening to you play and watching you perform is that you have um, uh, you have the, uh, command over your voice that makes it just sound so natural and easy. And um, nice. I can't imagine that 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 that's the way it came out when you were. 14 and picked up a guitar for the first time, right? No, I sounded like a little schoolboy. Yeah. So what yeah. was the what was the Still first incarnation it, of, of your musical self? Were you in like a punk band or, or were you in like a <laughs> funk band? Oh or? man, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's two manifestations of that, I think. Um, well, the first one is when I was three, and I've told this story a couple times, but my dad propped me up on the piano at the church with a Christmas sweater on and made me sing a song he wrote called Papa Won't You Tell Me About Christmas. So after that, I shunned away from music for a while. Yeah, do it again. I don't even remember how it goes. And uh, so at, at around 14 or 15, I found out that chicks loved guitar players or musicians, like drummers, saxophone players, you know, whatever. It didn't matter. Um, at least that's what I've, I'd heard. So um, I didn't know. So I, uh, I, I joined a band. I started the band, and I played bass, and it was called Sticker. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. We played pop music. Did you guys have, like, the best band stickers ever? We didn't actually have any Super band meta. stickers. That's the thing. <laughs> it was pretty bad. We didn't have any money, so we just... We just but that was originally the plan. We were going to get stickers that said sticker. It was going to be, like, ironic, but never happened. <laughs> <laughs> 